Welcome to Rachna's Fitness Show. I'm your host Rachna. This show is all about getting you off the couch and getting you working out. Our studio ka number is 408-912-5565. Again, 408-912-5565. Um, if you're interested in being in touch with us, I'm a fitness expert, fitness trainer. I own my own fitness center that has been running for more than about 11-12 um, years now here in the Bay Area. It is called Rachna's Wellness Center, RWC. Uh, we do provide a lot of different fitness programs. They're all associated with, of course, Desi Fitness. If you have a goal for fitness, ke se related, nutrition, se related, um, health, se related, you're looking to lose weight, you're looking to get stronger, you have a um, medical condition, you know, that's a special condition that you think you can't be exercising. Uh, but of course, I do work with a lot of different clients that do have special conditions, you know, maybe a week back or shoulder injury or neck injury or ankle injury or something of you know a knee injury of course there are a lot of modified programs jab mare center pe bhi uh, you know kar sakte hain which without affecting the area fact you're going to make the area stronger to agar aap interested hain weight loss programs mein special um, condition aapko koi hai us tarah ke programs mein or video also have a very successful program jiska naam hai post pregnancy weight loss program and um then we also have program like they see challenges in fact wanted to mention we do have a 30 day fitness challenge that's starting on the 1st of february so if you are willing to take up this challenge we do have a challenge just kind of a 30 day fitness challenge um of course the winners and the top people who lose the most amount of weight and inches will be given prizes and this program is starting on 1st of february if you're interested in enrolling give me a call phone number to get in touch with me is 408 320 8111 again 408 320 8111 you can also go and go to my website get all the information to get in touch with me uh, website is rachna radio r a c h n a rachna radio.com or you can always go and google rachna's wellness center and that's another way to pull up my website also okay uh, abhi ka studio number hai abhi hame contact karne ke liye 4089125565 just go confirmation about mari facility ke bare mein we have a lot of different weight loss programs jo specially desi logon ke liye design hote hain so the first step is me and you will sit down or talk over the phone whatever is convenient to see aapke goals kya hain what are you looking to achieve once i have a clear understanding once you have a clear understanding of your goals and i have a clear understanding of your goals your conditions your schedule uh, your motivation your level of um, you know exercise that you've done in the past or maybe you've never done exercise or maybe you've done a lot of exercise so i do have people um, who would come for different you know backgrounds let's say kai logon ne bahut sari exercise ki hai but they just cannot lose those last 5 pounds or 10 pounds or stubborn pounds or that last little uh you know another flab of you know belly fat so whatever your goals i do have programs all different kind of people and they'll push you accordingly to inter- agar aap interested hain uh, like i said the first uh, the very first one that's starting right now is the desi fitness challenge um 30 day challenge and then we also have of course a lot of different programs uh, give me a call so we can talk over the phone we can always set up a t- appointment for you to come in so we can sit and talk at my center we are officially located uh, physically located in sunnyvale california hamara phone number or address or directions aapko mere website pe milengi rachna radio.com um give me a call 408 320 8111 Okay. Um let's go uh, talk about a show bhi aapko abhi koi question aap abhi hame studio pe bhi call kar sakte hain live hamara phone number hai abhi studio ka 408 912 5565 408 912 5565 
a quick study wanted to talk about is I'll talk about exercise, I'll talk about nutrition, I'll talk about a bunch of different things today. But a uh, little study I wanted to share with you first. Of course, I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. I, when I do my radio shows, I talk about a lot of recent studies. So one of the uh, very recent studies found out that exercise can slow your brain aging by 10 years. Okay, so just to go in a little bit detail about the study, in exercise in older people is, is associated with slow rate of decline in thinking skills that occur with aging, right? We all know that if we all age, as everyone ages, as people get older, the thinking skills are uh, But exercise can slow the aging of the brain by 10 years. People who reported light to pretty much no exercise experience a decline equal to 10 more years of aging as compared to people who reported moderate to intense exercise. Okay, so older people with higher amounts of a key protein in their brain also had slow decline in the memory and thinking abilities that people with lower amounts of protein and gene, um, not going to detail with that, but uh, but the basic is that memory loss come hoga, aging come hogi, brain is going to be more sharper. If people, even if we're older, you can still start right now. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do without affecting, let's say, your knee is very weak. Hai, but there's a lot of stuff you could still do and keep yourself fit still or at least try to keep up um, you know and stay fit so that your brain aging here would uh, slow down hoje and all that stuff so I'll be happy to of course we do have programs for those you know special people also if you have a special condition so like I said you can contact us but that's an interesting study I wanted to share with you our phone number here to get in touch with us is 408-320-8111 Okay, having said that, let's move on and talk about, um, I wanted to talk quite a bit more detail about cardiovascular health. Okay, um, and then before that, let me explain you. I'll go in another study very soon, but what is cardiovascular health? Cardio ka matlab hota hai heart, vascular ka matlab hota hai vessels that carry blood. So anything that's related with heart carrying blood are all called cardiovascular diseases. So let's go into detail, in detail that in just a second but there's another study I wanted to mention that has bugged me for so many years again it doesn't probably apply to everyone but it does I mean there is a research and I'm just sharing numbers with you so exercise as per the study the title of the study exercise largely absent from US medical school curriculum as per the study okay so exercise is largely absent from US medical school curriculum that means a lot of people who become doctors in this country, exercise is not even a part of the curriculum. I'm still sure a lot of people are still wondering there's no connection between exercise and becoming a doctor. Of course there is. Of course there's thousand person there is, there's million person there is. I mean, lifestyle related job changes kar sakte hain. Exercise say, nutrition say, those are way more beneficial without any side effects, without you being put on a medication for blood pressure, diabetes. All that stuff. I mean, it's sad. But of course, again, if anyone who's listened to me who's a doctor and that's not something you do, I, I know there are a lot of doctors who still recommend exercise and all that stuff. But yes, there are a lot of doctors who don't. As soon as you go to them and you tell them that your blood pressure is high or test hoga, the first thing they will recommend is put you on a medication. Or I've also seen a lot of younger girls you know, and it's it's normal to feel depressed sometimes. You know, you've had kids, you've got married and whatnot. And they go to the doctor, tell them, I'm feeling depressed, I don't feel good, and maybe weight gain is happening. I mean, isn't that something related? Go and exercise, go do something about yourself, feel good about yourself, not just gain, losing weight, but just feel good. And exercise, to her anger se proven hai ki exercise jo hoti hai, body mein endorphins release karti hai, jis se aapka stress kam hota hai, and a lot of things. I mean, it's the best antidepressant possible. So before suggesting a, a girl like this who's barely in her 20s that go and exercise, go do something for self, go do some physical activity, you put her on a, medi on a depression medication, that's just not right. But that is happening way more than you can even imagine. I personally have seen so many 20 years old girls who barely have been married for a couple of years and they are taking some kind of antidepressant medication. Very sad. But maybe it's coming from the background, like I said, the yahan ke jo doctors in this country, mein, bahut ko, exercise ka curriculum, matlab curriculum exercise thi nahi. any kind of physical you know, fitness or kind of education was not a part of their curriculum either way. So like, again, going into detail with the study, fewer than half of the physicians trained in the United States in 2013 received no formal education or training on the subject of exercise, according to new research. 
there are immense medical benefits to exercise like i mentioned it can help as much as or maybe even more than medicine to address many health concerns because exercise has medicinal and as well as a lot of other benefits it's quite surprising that medical schools didn't spend more time on it a review of the medical school curriculum showed that a majority of us institutions did not offer any courses on physical activity and when the courses were offered they were optional or really required that's sad but like i said please make your own decision before you go to a doctor and you want to offer a medication that is pretty much going to be there for the rest of your life for, with you for you make some lifestyle changes a lot of these things especially when they're marginal borderline could easily be rectified you know literally taken away from your body if you start exercising and start being healthy okay um so having said that let's go and talk about back to our cardiovascular health more than 70 million people in this country have some form of cardiovascular disease up in india mein bahut badh gaya hai rate of course including high blood pressure heart disease so it is a relevant issue to be talked about it's something that you should need to know so like i said what is cardiovascular system it's a complex system that consists of heart the cardio and blood vessels the vessels so cardiovascular health relates to heart health of your heart and your blood vessels right ki aapka heart kitna healthy hai aur aapke blood vessels kitne healthy hai that are carrying the heart to and from the heart so through this system every part of the body is able to get oxygen properly so right so imagine karo kitna important hai ki aapka heart theek ho aur aapki vessels jo hai theek ho okay imagine if some part of the body did not get oxygen properly what's going to happen aur oxygen kyon nahi mili kyunki aapki jo blood vessels thi wo theek se carry nahi kar rahi thi right jab us part ko oxygen nahi mili it's going to stop working this is what happens when your blood vessels get damaged and are not able to carry oxygen for most of us we take the cardiovascular system for granted until something goes wrong the heart is a strong muscular pump that is slightly larger than maybe your fist it pumps blood continuously through the vascular system known as blood vessels arteries capillaries and veins heart and blood vessel problems do not happen quickly so agar hum soche ki kisi ko someone had a quick heart attack of course there are exceptions but generally that doesn't happen or someone is not able to like i said triglyceride jab bhai jate hain aapke blood pressure jab bhai jata hai iska matlab aapki arteries constrict ho rahi hain jab aapki arteries constrict hoti hain unka matlab block ho jati hain kahin pe aur constrict ho jati hain blockage ho jati hai aapki arteries mein tabhi aapka blood pressure badhta hai because the blood is not able to go properly and jo blood pressure hai bahut jaldi badh jayega because it really wants to get blood to the right place and that's the reason a blood ab wo kyon constrict hui hain aapki arteries kyon block hui hain आई थिंक हम सबको आंसर इस बात का पता है क्योंकि आपका खाना ठीक नहीं है आपकी एक्सरसाइज ठीक नहीं है ओके सो हार्ट लाइक आई सेड इट्स पंपिंग ब्लड कंटीन्यूअसली थ्रू द वैस्कुलर सिस्टम सो जो इश्यूज होते हैं हार्ट और ब्लड वेसल के दे जस्ट डू नॉट हैपन क्विकली ओवर टाइम द आर्टरीज कैन बिकम ब्लॉक्ड ड्यू टू रॉन्ग टाइप ऑफ फैट आप खाते हैं यू नो कोलेस्ट्रॉल अगेन रॉन्ग कोलेस्ट्रॉल आपका बहुत हाई है एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस कैन कॉज ब्लड क्लॉट्स सो we need to change it okay and let's go and talk about another since stop on cardiovascular health let's go talk about another study that's again related to our vascular health and they found out that short bouts of high intensity exercise so uh, you know just a little small high intensity exercise before a fattening meal is best for cardiovascular health so some kind of high intensity exercise before you eat a meal that is high in fat is really good for a cardiovascular health let's go and talk in detail a little bit about the study if anyone tuned in absent ray rachna ko rachna's fitness show pe i do come here on tuesdays between 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock we do take your live calls about health nutrition fitness if you're interested in being a part of any of our weight loss programs health programs nutrition programs personalized desi meal plans um a lot of different programs up on your website check out kar sakte hain please give me a call i'll be happy to sit and talk to you if you can talk over the phone you can always come down set up an appointment we can sit and talk about your condition your goals your needs the phone number to get in touch with me is 408 328 111 again 408 320 8111 
Again, I'm the owner of Freshness Wellness that's been running for more than about 12 years here in the Bay Area now. Physically, we are located in Sunnyvale, California, but of course, I've expanded quite a bit in terms of our remote programs. So a lot of people do my programs remotely. You do not have to be living local if you are listening to my show and you do not live in the area, but you are interested in being a part of a fitness program. You're definitely uh, welcome to give me a call. I'll be happy to get you enrolled in a remote program where I will teach you every session personally through of course a computer or an iPad or you know tablet or phone whatever aap usko attend karenge aap main aapki coach hongi but of course you don't have to drive down um aapko meal plans milenge regular aapka weight or measurements ki of course aap mujhe information bhejenge uske according aapko har hafte ke hafte nutrition desi meal plans milenge jo aap follow karenge based upon your goals so there are different courses follow this way hamara jo challenge hai desi challenge jo aur shuru ho raha hai february 1st ko it's called the desi fitness 30 day challenge that program can of of course be done remotely or on site so either way aap is program ko follow kar sakte hain it's an extremely well designed program the desi 30 day fitness challenge to get enrolled um, give me a call 4083281 and like i already mentioned people who are going to be in the top winners list in this program and of course be getting prizes just you know it's it's again first of all losing weight is the prize for you but just in addition just to make uh, a little bit extra level of motivation to kick it in it, i think it always helps Okay, so studio number. Abhi abhi call karne ke liye aapko abhi ko question hai is four zero eight nine one two five five six five. So like I said, short bouts of high intensity exercise before a fatty meal is very good for vascular health. A short bout of intensive exercise before eating a high fat meal is better for blood vessel functions, according to a new study. The process of cardiovascular diseases, including heart attacks, starts in youth. Like I said, like I already mentioned, these jitti bhi issues hote hain cardiovascular ke, they don't just go right away when you turn 40 or 45 or 50. I mean, it was something that was developing in the body maybe since you were, you know, back in 20s or even younger. So, like I said, the process of cardiovascular diseases, including heart attacks, it does most probably start in youth. An impairment in the function of the blood vessels is, you know, as is known to occur, is hours. In fact, I'll 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 share a re- very important research with you. It's pretty interesting to how to how that happens. But they found out that when your blood vessels are impaired, they can become so impaired in just a just couple of hours after you eat a wrong fat, high fat kind of meal. Just hours later. Okay, so an impairment of the vessel of the your blood vessels hai, could happen just a couple hours after consuming a wrong high fat meal. So performing exercise before a high fat meal like I mentioned is known to prevent this impairment in blood vessel function so a small short period of high intensity exercise right before you eat a high fat meal has proven has shown to have a lot of benefits okay so blood vessel function should not fall after eating any meal it showed that approximately 25 minutes of moderate intensity cycling just to pick an example prevented the fall in blood vessel function after high fat meal However, performing just eight minutes of high intensity exercise, as opposed to moderate, just eight minutes of high intensity exercise, not only prevented this fall but improved blood vessel function right before you ate a wrong meal. Furthermore, both the, both boys and girls found the high intensity exercise to be more enjoyable than the moderate intensity exercise, right? And that's I I think that's I've always mentioned that you know when you're exercising, if you can't, of course, there's special conditions that people just can't. But if you can. push yourself in exercise there's no reason to take it easy if you can if you're allowed to and if your uh, you know body permits but again push yourself you know exercise ka matlab hi hota hai ki aap apne aap ko push kar rahe hain to reach a new level magar aap apne aap ko push hi nahi karoge if you like i said if you don't have a special condition aapki knees theek hai aapki back theek hai aapki uh, everything's fine why not push yourself and that's exactly what i like to do with a lot of my clients who don't have a special condition let's go push yourself बियॉन्ड योर एबिलिटी जो आपकी नॉर्मल अभी है राइट right? क्योंकि उसी का मतलब आप अपनी कंफर्ट जोन से निकलेंगे और पूरे बॉडी को अगर आप चेंज करना चाहते हो आप हेल्दी होना चाहते हो उसका मतलब ही है कि आप अभी जहां पर हो आप उससे कुछ अलग बनना चाहते हो राइट right? अभी जहां पर आप क्यों हो क्योंकि यहां पर आप कंफर्टेबल हो बिकॉज यू कंफर्टेबल राइट देर टू गेट यू टू डिफरेंट प्लेस दैट्स इन अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ फिटनेस और हेल्थ वाइज यूल हैव टू मेक यू सेफ अटल अनकंफर्टेबल एंड दैट अनकंफर्टेबल कुड बी changing your eating style a little changing your exercise style a little so if you keep doing what you're doing right now if you keep exercising just the way you are and the heart rate is not going up and if you keep eating just the way you normally eat how do you how do you make this change 
राइट सो थोड़ा सा चेंज तो कहीं पे जरूरी है एंड अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मेंशन थोड़ा सा चेंज आई एम नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग अ क्रेजी ड्रास्टिक चेंज एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई टीच इन ऑल ऑफ माय प्रोग्राम्स इज लिटिल बाय लिटिल बेबी स्टेप्स करते करते आप कहां पहुंच जाएंगे आपको खुद को ही नहीं पता चलेगा बट इट इज नो ड्रास्टिक चेंज रिक्वायर्ड एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई हाउ आई टीच एंड ट्रेन ऑल ऑफ माय प्रोग्राम्स ओके and let's go and talk on another study again study number 4089125565 4089125565 you have a question about exercise related nutrition related hamare kisi topics related aap abhi hame studio pe call kar sakte hain live hum aapka of course will be happy to answer your question um phone number hamara studio ka 4089125565 again to get in touch with me in regarding any for complete weight loss programs desi fitness challenge 30 day fitness challenge that is starting on february 1st or our post pregnancy weight loss program or if you're looking for a specialized desi personalized meal plans for you for your weight loss aap hame definitely contact kar sakte hain hamara phone number hai 4083208111 again 4083208111 or you can always you know get in contact with us through our website rachnaradio.com r a c h n a rachnaradio.com or of course you can always google and find rachna's wellness center Okay so like I mentioned we do have a complete 30 day fitness challenge starting on February 1st if you're willing to take up this challenge and lose a lot of weight and a lot of inches and feel fantastic about yourself just in the beginning of the year um by the end of February this is a program for you 30 day challenge starts on February 1st again like I mentioned go to my website contact me send me an email or call me 408328111 um also wanted to mention we do also have our own line of protein powders and vitamins and probiotics and a lot of other good stuff vitamin d3 vitamin k2 um combination aap inko lena chahte hain aap hamari website ke through order kar sakte hain we do ship them worldwide or you can always um you can always come by and pick it up from my center or you can always give us a call and place your order over the phone aur agar aapka questions hai aap iske bare mein phone karke pooch sakte hain hamare vitamins and protein powders ke bare mein um so phone number again 4083281111 and uh, we also have a youtube channel so please go subscribe to my youtube channel youtube pe ja ke go find rachna's wellness rachna's wellness uh, please watch our videos give them a thumbs up i'll be happy to you know record more specific videos you know of course i do them quite a bit um off and on i'm not very regular in recording videos but of course i do them here and there um so again uh, please go to our uh, youtube pe ja ke go find rachna's wellness and subscribe to her channel and watch our videos we do have a lot of good videos about health nutrition recipes cooking uh, some about exercise too so let's check them out okay so next study i wanted to talk about is individuals i know we talked about we've been talking about i'm i'm kind of you know concerned uh, you know talking a lot about cardiovascular studies so ek humne bhi baat ki thi ki short bouts of high intensity exercise before a high fatty meal is really good for vascular health okay the next study i wanted to talk about is individuals with type 2 diabetes individuals with type 2 diabetes should exercise after dinner as per a new study so individuals with type 2 diabetes should exercise after dinner as per the study let's go and talk a little bit more detail in detail about this study individuals with type 2 diabetes have heightened amount of sugars and fat in their blood which increases their risk for cardiovascular diseases such as strokes and heart attacks let me repeat so individuals with type 2 diabetes have heightened amount of sugar and fat in the blood right kyunki inki body digest nahi kar rahi makes sense which increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases so this happens right after the eat a meal jab aapne ko khana khaya so your body sugar content and fat content goes high and also special with uh, especially people with diabetes unka insulin itna acha nahi hai that means bahut jaldi insulin nahi aayega to take the fat away and the sugar away so that means the high fat and the high sugar kind of stays in the blood for a longer time than a person who won't have you know type 2 diabetes right so that means jitni der aapki blood mein fat ghumega sugar ghumega it's going to keep circulating in the blood the more the chance you're going to have a stroke or a heart attack exercise is a necessity for anyone suffering from any kind of symptoms of type 2 diabetes now like i said as per research researchers have found that individuals with type 2 diabetes can lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases more effectively by exercising after a meal this study shows that it is not just the intensity or duration of exercising is important but also the timing of when it the exercise is done especially for people with type 2 diabetes results from the study show that resistance exercise that means strength training exercise has its most powerful effect on reducing glucose and fat levels in one's blood when performed after dinner 
In this study, participants performed resistance exercises or kind of some kind of strength training exercises or weight training exercises before eating dinner. Okay, so study made, they did, they took a lot of participants and they had them perform some kind of strength training exercises before eating dinner. And during another visit, participants exercised 45 minutes after eating dinner. So what they wanted to compare, how much difference does it make, especially when people have, someone has type 2 diabetes before versus after. So they took some participants and made them do, uh, do some strength training exercises before dinner. And in another group, they also had participants do exercises after or strengthening exercises about 45 minutes um, exercise. So 45 minutes exercise right after dinner. Researchers found that the participants who exercised before dinner were able to only reduce the sugar levels in their blood. However, participants who exercised after dinner were able to reduce both sugar and both fat levels. So not just sugar, but both sugar and both fat went lower in the blood if they did some kind of strength training exercises for about 40 to 45 minutes right after dinner. Of course, participants consumed a moderate carbohydrate dinner on, an, on the evenings of the study. So this is one of the techniques that I use on my clients who might have plateaued. Okay, some people who might have plateaued or of course people with type 2 diabetes. This is the fantastic thing. Like I said, plateau ka matlab hai ki aapka weight loss aur nahi ho raha hai. Uh, your body has pretty much done what it could. So if you could now start adding some strength training exercises right after you eat dinner, to aapki body ka fat jo, like I said, when goes, you know, that means the fat store hona tha, but jaisi blood mein tha, aapne usko pehle use kap kar liya as opposed to it's getting stored. So good, good, um, fantastic study. Another study, since we're all talking about cardiovascular health, again, studio number, if you have a question, our serity related, our health and nutrition related, you're welcome to give us a call. Studio number is 408-912-5565, 408-912-5565. So another study, adding peanuts to a meal benefits your cardiovascular health. As per the study, since we're talking about all cardiovascular health, you know, uh, again, cardiovascular health, if anyone tuned in, are all issues, blood pressure related issues, um, even diabetes related issues. Um, ye sare ke sare aapke cardiovascular health related issues hote hain, jinko diseases or illnesses kaha jata hai. So we're um, talking about a lot of different studies that found out kya karne se better and all that stuff. So the next study we're talking about is adding peanuts, mufli, adding peanuts to a meal benefits cardiovascular health. A study of peanut consumption showed that including them as a part of a high-fat meal improved the post-meal triglyceride response. What are triglycerides? It's the free fat that you eat, the free fat that you eat, if it properly digest, it stays in the bloodstream for quite a amount of time. Those are called triglycerides. Okay, so this, as per the study, they found out that peanut consumption showed, um, including them as a part of a high-fat meal, improved the post-meal triglyceride response. Peanuts are a healthy snack when eaten as a part of a healthy diet. The purpose of this research was to evaluate cardiovascular function after a high-fat meal. So what they did in this study, they took 15 overweight meals. They took 15 overweight meals and they were randomized to either 3-ounce peanuts, 3-ounce or no peanuts. Then a meal was taken. Okay, A little high in fat. And then what they did, they checked the lipid profile glucose and insulin were measured in Sare Pandra participants right after the meal. So cardiovascular function dropped for people who had had no peanuts, but it did not decrease for people who had peanuts. Okay, so that means, of course, it's a very good thing. Um, another study, want to talk about, oh, that's, that's in fact a very interesting one. It's pretty, um, like I was talking about, your cardiovascular health could start dropping just a couple hours after you ate wrong, let's say, um, burger or a french fries kind of meal and you drank a soda along with it so every junk single junk food meal damages your arteries as per a new study so again this new study reveals that every single junk food meal damages your arteries a single junk food meal uh, composed mainly of saturated fat is detrimental to the health of the arteries and of course a lot of sugar while no damage occurs after consuming a mediterranean kind of meal which is rich in good fats I'm not saying no fat, but I'm saying rich in good fats, um, monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats and all that stuff. So that's what the difference is, bad fat and good fat. So every single junk food meal that had wrong kind of fats in it and bad sugar in it is going to damage your arteries, not just having it, let's say, for a year. Every meal can do that. That's sad. Doctors undertook the study to compare the effects of junk food to a typical Mediterranean meal. 
ओके एंड दे वॉन्ट फी सी कि ब्लड वेसल्स के ऊपर क्या डिफरेंस होता है कि आपने एक जंक फूड मील खाया जिसमें बर्गर थे फ्रेंच फाइज थे सोडा था एज अपोज टू ईटिंग अ मेडिट्रेनियन खान ऑफ मील दैट हैड सम एवोकैडोज इन एट सम ऑलिव ऑयल इन एट सम गुड फैट इन एट सम पाइन नट्स इन एट कोई सैलड था कोई चिकन था और चिकन नहीं खाते तो कोई सम वेजिटेबल्स इन एट एंड ऑल दैट स्टाफ ओके दे मेजर्ड हाउ ईजली द आरवीज विल डायलेट आफ्टर टेम्प्ररी right after 5 minutes of eating both of these two different kind of meals so what was the difference in the body just do tarah ke meal ke baad and just about 5 minutes after so what is dilation dilation hota hai ki aapki uh, arteries kitni you know um blockage helps me any of course that's the way you measure it so 28 what this study for the study they took about 28 to 30 non smoking healthy men who ate mediterranean meal type meal first and then the junk food meal so the same people were used for both the studies The first meal was composed of salmon, almond, vegetables cooked in olive oil, of which 51 51% of the total calories came from fat. So it was pretty high in fat, but good fat. 51% was of the meal was fat, but good fat, of course. The second meal, which was given to them, was consisted of a sandwich made of a sausage and egg and a slice of cheese and some potatoes. Um, and for 58% of the calories were from fat, but they were high in very, uh, you know, there were no omega threes, high in omega six kind of saturated fat. that fact researchers found that after eating the junk food meal the arteries of the study participants dilated 24% less than after the mediterranean type of meal now you want the arteries to dilate because you want the blood flow to happen properly you want the sugar to be taken away from the blood you want the fat to be taken away from the blood because you don't want this stuff in the blood so the dilation is a good thing here so they found out high five jo ganda wala fat ka meal khaya gaya tha after you know whatever the junk food meal they ate the arteries of the study participants dilated 24% less than after the mediterranean type of meal so all i can say is make healthy changes so i know it's lunch time if you are if your car is staring towards a junk food restaurant right now or an indian buffet place right now you have to listen to me right now just turn it over go to a different place get something healthier even a one single junk food meal makes a difference right up what is the i mean i still need to understand what is the point of compromising your health every single day why i mean you are given this body you want to take care of it you want to look good you want to be healthy then why why make these wrong decisions every time first of all a lot of people make wrong decisions just because either it's a habit or they think that nothing's going to happen anymore or they think i'm already taking my medication i can get off the medication which of course i know you can get off the medication by still making lifestyle healthy changes but yes you can so why would you want to compromise your health every single day by eating those wrong things so if you are looking for a lunch place right now because it is lunch time and you're thinking about going to a desi buffet place or a um, sandwich place uh, you know a burger place just don't think go somewhere else find something healthy i'm going to give you a bunch of healthier options you know um, go to a grocery store somewhere over there they have a lot of um a lot of healthy salads if there's a trader joe somewhere close by you or sprouts close by you uh, to you wherever you are just turn over they have a lot of healthy if you're vegetarian non vegetarian they bahut sari salad options aapko milenge and they taste fantastic they taste fantastic you assemble it's everything is in a kit you put everything all together uh, pick something with a little bit healthier dressing not the really creamy dressing um and they taste amazing sit in a car sit in the sun enjoy that as opposed to being in a buffet restaurant right now i mean you could easily consume about good 2 to 3000 calories or more in one single buffet meal very easily that's worth about 2 days of meal again that's a decision you want to make i'm just giving information from here see if you're listening to me make a healthy choice right away there's no tomorrow you don't want to wait until tomorrow ki aaj kha lete hain kal kuch healthy khayenge Trust me, it's going to happen again tomorrow. So, again, आप सुन रहे हैं रचना को रचना स्पेटने शो पे हमारा स्टूडियो का नंबर है. If you have a question, अभी कॉल करने के लिए four zero eight nine one two five five six five four zero eight nine one two five five six five to get in touch with me regarding any of our complete weight loss programs. Um, just to explain you a little about our weight loss program. So the first step is to understand your goals, um, your background. your eating styles your exercise style your lifestyle your motivation level special conditions whatever it is so once i have a clear understanding of it i start with a complete personalized program where i'm going to start with checking your weight taking bunch of measurements and i like to keep a track of all of these numbers every single week so i know and you know how much weight aapka body lose aapki body lose kar rahi hai kitne inches aapki body lose kar rahi hai week by week 
ہے اینڈ دین فرام ڈیئر آن وی فالو کمپلیٹ ایکسرسائز پروگرامس اینڈ ناؤ ایکسرسائز پروگرام کے بہت سارے لیولس ہیں یو ڈونٹ ہیو ٹو گیٹ اسکیئر ڈو ہیو ڈفرینٹ لیولز آف ایکسرسائز پروگرامس اٹ کڈ بی ایز سمپل ایز فائیو منٹس آف ایکسرسائز اے ڈے اور اٹ کڈ بی این آور آف تھرٹی منٹس آف ایکسرسائز اے ڈے اباؤٹ تھرٹی منٹس اٹ کڈ بی اینی لیول سو اف یو آر اے پرسن یو کڈ ڈو فائیو منٹس ول اسٹارٹ وتھ فائیو منٹس Okay, and these are all personalized exercises. And it keeps changing week by week. And then we also have complete desi nutrition plans you have to follow with us. That your body... Um, what I do is that when I start any program, I also do a testing and you just can have my body's metabolic testing. It's a breathing test that tells me exactly what is your body's metabolism. And once I know what your metabolism is, that means how many calories you are burning, then it kind of gives me a very clear understanding is how much you should be eating then and what you should be burning through exercise. And that's how the whole program is designed. So then I give you complete um, nutrition plans to follow, desi meal plans to follow, uh, week one, week two, week three, and all throughout the program. Abhi Bhatari program is mostly a three-month courses. We also have 30-day challenges, and one of them is, in fact, starting right away on February 1st. So if interested in a desi for, uh, 30-day fitness challenge, one of the one of my batches of those are, is starting on February 1st. Um, to get enrolled in any of these batches, any of these programs, or to get even a clear understanding on how these programs will help you, please give me a call, 408-320-8111. Again, 408-320-8111. You can also contact me through my website, rachnaradio.com, R-A-C-H-N-A, rachnaradio.com. Okay. Um, another thing, in fact, we've talked quite a bit of cardiovascular health today. Let's go and talk about since we're talking about health and fitness and all that stuff, I wanted to talk about, because it's so many people have this issue, hai, and a lot of people, first of all, a lot of people think that our brain is one of the ways that we know that we're healthy, that our brain is so sharp, right? In fact, now there's a second brain in the body. There is a second brain. Its name is gut. What is gut? Gut is... Gut microbes, which is called gut flora, flora is a name given today to the micro population that live in our small intestine in our body. In our body, which is a small intestine, hai, uske andar, we have a lot of bacteria that live in it. Good ones and bad ones both. When we are born, of course, we are born with most of the good ones. But as we age and stress and antibiotic courses, we are doing our good bacteria, and we are getting a lot of getting a lot of bad bacteria in the body. That means your gut bacteria in your small intestine mein, intestine mein, is not the best one now. Okay? So the development of gut bacteria starts at birth. First of all, like I said, let's go back from the very beginning, you know, when we're born. The newborn's digestive tract is quickly colonized microorganisms from the mother. Right? So it's getting from the mother initially. The environment in which the delivery takes place, the air and all that stuff. Just about from, th- from the third day after birth, the composition of the intestinal flora is now directly dependent of- on how the infant is fed. By the age three, by the age of three, gut bacteria becomes stable and similar to that of adults, continuing its evolution at a steadier rate throughout its life. So the composition of a microbe, uh, the bacteria here, throughout our entire life, from birth to old age, is a result of the environmental influences. Uh, like I said, it is called a second brain, because that is exactly how you know how healthy you are, that your body is in your bacteria, in your intestine, small intestine. Mein. Now, how to fix your gut bacteria and lose weight? Right? And you might be thinking, what's oh, the weight ka kya connection? It's all, I mean, it's so much connection, I can't even tell you. And we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail right now. So most people think that a high-fat diet can damage your gut bacteria and promote weight gain. Should you be concerned if you're eating a high-fat diet? It is true that what you eat affects your gut bacteria, or better for worse, and changes in your gut bacteria can cause, of course, weight gain. Why? Just because if you bacteria, first of all, the bacteria is used to digest the food. Right? So if your food is just not being digested properly, of course, you're going to gain weight. And why is it not being digested properly? Just because you don't have the right b- kind of bacteria in your gut anymore. That's supposed to digest the food. It's supposed to digest it. And that's when the weight gain starts to happen. So it is very important for you. And I'm going to give you a bunch of things that you could do to get your uh, gut bacteria back in control. We'll talk about it in just a couple of minutes. But like I said, so, uh, you know, it is very important that what you eat makes a big difference. Indeed, some studies demonstrate that high-fat diet can adversely affect your gut flora and promote inflammation weight gain. When I say high-fat means... Wrong kind of fat. Okay, so like I said, it's important to note, it's the type of fat that you eat matters. Most, all of these studies, many times they're focused on, a lot of people, what eat fat is a lot of inflammatory fats. Omega-6, vegetable oil, soybean kind of oil, corn oil, 
um, canola oil kind of fats. Those are really bad for you. And I've been telling this to you for so many years. I mean, you need to get rid of any kind of omega-6 based oils in your pantry. I know there's absolutely no reason for you to have any kind of omega-6 oils for any kind of cooking. You do absolutely. Omega-6 oils are First of all, they're bad for you. They create inflammation in the body. Your bacteria is still body ka marta hai. What are omega-6 oils? Vegetable oils. Sorry, vegetable oils. Soybean oil, corn oil, canola oil. Really bad. Out of the world bad. Okay? So refined omega-6 vegetable oils, they come in the bad fat category and should be avoided absolutely. While most of us have been convinced by the food industry and our government, of course, that vegetable oils are safe, um, uh, you know, canola oil is safe and a heart healthy alternative to saturated fats. You know, you want to eat butter, you want to be eating vegetable oil. No. What you want to be eating is, Dinko kaha jata omega-3 based oils. They decrease inflammation in the body. Okay. So, first of all, our ratio of omega-3 and omega-6 has always been high. So, that is what needs to be flipped over. If you want to make your gut healthy, which means you want to be losing weight. So it's very important for you to start eating a lot of omega-3 based of fat. Okay. So wild foods like grass-fed beef, wild-caught fish provide an amazing source of omega-3. But of course, a lot of people don't eat these diets. Uh, you know, if you don't eat these kind of meats and all that stuff. Um, and if you eat it, factory farmed animals, you know, you just get regular chicken, um, that make up our modern diet, almost have zero omega-3 fats just because they weren't fed the right kind of nutrition. If the animals weren't fed the right kind of nutrition, of course, they're not going to have when you eat them, right? The vast quantity is of omega-6 in our diet contribute to heart disease, diabetes, and, uh, uh, di- um, diabetes, um, diabetes and cancer. Okay. Now, why is Gut health so important. Let's go talk about that. Why is gut health so important? Again, story number 408-912-5565. Um, to enroll in our Desi 30-Day Fitness Channel, the start on February 1st, give me a call, 408-320-8111. Or go to my website, rachnaradio.com. Okay. Now, why is gut health so important? Many scientists, like I said, have already begun to refer to the gut as a second brain, an idea that is reflected in many amazing books now. Kaafi books ne aapko likhi ga ki gut ke baare mein bitti sari books likhi hai. They're so out of the world important. It becomes central to entire health and connected to everything that happens in your body. You can begin to understand the importance of your gut health when you consider there are 500 species and about 3 pounds of bacteria in your gut. 3 pounds. So imagine karo, ab usme se there's no good bacteria left. All you have is bad bacteria. Right? About, you have like I said about 500 species and about 3 pounds of gut bacteria in your gut. So, if those are not good kind of bacteria, your body is just not going to do the things right. Altogether, our gut is a huge chemical factory that helps to digest food, like I said, produce vitamins, regulate hormones, excrete toxins, and it also produces a lot of healing compounds to keep your gut healthy. Too many of the wrong bacteria, if you your gut, like parasites and yeast and bad bacteria, or not enough of the good ones, like the lactobacillus and all those good bacteria, they can lead to serious damage to your health. Optimal gut balance begins with your diet, which directly affects your balance. You want to eat a diet with lots of fiber, healthy protein, and healthy fat. Please do not take out all the healthy fat from your diet. It's very important for you to eat healthy fats. Very important. Jab tak aap apne body mein acha fat nahi introduce karenge during every single meal, your body is just not going to be healthy. It's just not going to happen. Your body needs good fat. When I say good fat, avocado oil, olive oil is always good. Uh, coconut oil is amazing. Uh, grass-fed cows ka pure organic desi ghee is amazing. And all these things, you need to include good fat in your diet. Very important for you. Okay. Um, so like I said, good fats, including omega-3 fats, monounsaturated fats, um, extra virgin olive oil, avocados, almonds, improve healthy gut flora, while the bad fat, which is inflammatory fats, omega-6, vegetable oil, okay, they increase inflammation in the body. That means they make you gain weight. Okay. Lack of sleep and chronic stress also contributes to gut balance. Okay. And um, be sure to, you know, get about seven to eight hours of quality sleep. And remember to practice a favorite stress reduction activities daily. And for me, of course, and for a lot of people, exercise is the best stress reduction you can even imagine. 
it's amazing. I mean, you will feel the difference right before and after your exercise. If you finish a good, good kind of exercise, you will feel way less stressed than as you were before. Now, I'm going to give you some basic ways on how to optimize your gut flora. Since we've talked about that, let's go talk about how to optimize your gut flora. How do you do it if you've screwed it up? Okay. Um, the first one is the best way to have healthy gut happens, it, you know, of course, begins with the diet. Okay. The first one, of course, is eat whole, unprocessed, unrefined foods. I know you've heard this enough, but now it's time to make the change. Right? If you've heard it, it's time to make the change now. So eat whole, unprocessed, unrefined foods. One of the best ways to maintain gut health involves cutting out sugar and refined carbs and jacking up um, gut-supporting fiber. Okay? So you need to be eating fiber. Fiber, how much you need in You probably need about 30 to 35 grams of fiber. But as long as eating, uh, you know, uh, some fruits, again, I always say some fruits. Please do not overdo on the fruits. Fruits do have a lot of sugar, which is fructose. Uh, so you want to be overdoing it a lot of the fruits. Yes, fruits are good for you, but make sure you're eating fruits at least a couple hours before you sleep. Uh, don't eat fruits right after uh, or, you know, as a dinner dessert or something. That's not good for you. Uh, fruit should be consumed. Normally, in fact, our Ayurveda has also said fruits go up sunset hone se pehle khain. because um, it's an amazing thing for you because you want to make sure that your body gets the good vitamins and the nutrients from the fruits but don't get all the sugar stored up in the body so avoid fruits later in the day okay um, vegetables aap jitni khani kha sakte hain as long as they're cooked in a healthy way with healthy fat it could be in a salad way non-salad way but make sure you eat lots and lots of vegetables aapki sare meals mein bahut vegetables hona bahut zaruri hai it's very important for you because first of all they fill her they fill you up and they're minimal calories there are very little in calories. Just to kind of give you a difference, one fruit, let's pick one basic fruit. I'm going to pick, let's say, an apple or a plum or a peach, whatever. One of those is probably going to be 90 to 100 calories, one. And I don't know how to put it this way or how to, you know, talk and ready for this, but a big, huge bowl of lots of vegetables is probably going to be less than 100 calories. Just vegetables that I'm talking about right now. Of course, you cooked it, they add some oil and all that stuff. It makes it, you know, maybe another couple hundred calories. But just a big, huge bowl of a lot of, uh, let's say, cut up lettuce or cabbage or, you know, some kind of vegetable is barely 100 calories. And just one apple was 100 calories. So not that I'm saying you should eat an apple. Yes, it has good, you know, iron for you and a lot of good stuff for you. Iron, of course, apple has pectin. Apple is one of the, in fact, one of my better fruits on the list. Okay, um, but again, at the same time, they are high in calories, they're high in glucose and uh, fructose, which converts to glucose in your body. Okay, so again, going back to our how to optimize our gut flora, the first one is eat whole, unprocessed, unrefined foods. One of the best ways to maintain gut health involves cutting out the sugar. That means a lot of sugar from the fruits, also a lot when I say. So a couple serving the fruits a day is okay, but don't eat three oranges and two bananas and itna sara watermelon or itna sara cantaloupe or, you know, 20 strawberries. I mean, that's just a lot of fruits per day. Okay. Second thing for you, how to optimize a gut flora is make 75% of your plate be vegetables and plant-based foods. Okay. So a lot of good fiber coming from vegetables and plant-based foods. So a lot of your plate, if you have plate up your plate, there should be a lot of vegetables in it. Okay. The next thing is Eat good fats and get an oil change for yourself. It's funny I say that, but yes, get an oil change. I've already told you, you need to get rid of any of the vegetable-based oils, corn oils. Um, I mean, I can't even imagine. I can't even put them into words, but how bad they are for the body. So eat good fats, get an oil change. The good fats I mentioned earlier, like omega-3 fats and monounsaturated fats are extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil. Um, coconut oil is a saturated fat, but it's an amazing thing for the body. Amazing. They all help decrease inflammation in the body, giving healthy gut bugs a chance to flourish okay the next point I wanted to tell you is if you want to um, optimize your gut flora is supplements eat supplements smartly beyond the numerous benefits including reducing inflammation studies find omega-3 acids can support healthy gut flora so if you don't eat a lot of omega-3 banana fats try taking an omega-3 supplement Okay, you should definitely supplement with an essential fatty acid formula if you're not irregularly eating either wild caught fatty fish and um, all that stuff. So make sure you definitely start consuming some kind of omega-3 supplements. Okay, um, and so I say next thing I wanted to mention, uh, again, to optimize the gut flora, this should be probably on the first of my list is take a good probiotic supplement. Take a very good probiotic supplement. This helps reduce gut inflammation while cultivating health and growth of good bacteria. 
सो प्रोबायोटिक्स क्या होते हैं लाइक इस वर्ड से इज इट दे आर गुड बैक्टीरिया जो आपकी बॉडी में होने चाहिए थे बट यू लास्ट इट फॉर वर एवर रीजन सो यू वॉन्ट अ गिव द बॉडी गुड बैक्टीरिया बैक आई मीन दे आर एज सेफ एज ड्रिंकिंग वाटर दैट्स हाउ सेफ probiotics are that's the reason uh, probiotics are not even on the list of fft to ever approve them because they're just good bacteria that's it it's like eating yogurt it's like drinking water as simple as that okay so make sure you're getting good probiotic i do have my own line of very good probiotics that i personally recommend i take it i give it to my whole family uh, from rashna's wellness up in order kar sakte hain humse um, or we can always you know ship them to you um, these are from rashna's wellness you can also go get details on these all my vitamins and probiotics on my website rachnaradio.com R A C H N A Rachna Radio dot com. Um, so probiotics. If you want to take them, like I said, um, you know, again, the timing probiotics are important. Hota. I always tell take probiotics kind of a little away from the meal because probiotics can there apna bacteria hota hai, or apke khane ke andar bhi apna bacteria hota hai. So you want to make sure that you kind of taking a little away from each other. It doesn't have to be empty stomach, but just a little away from your meals is just a basic good idea for any kind of probiotics. ओके एंड सो प्रोबायोटिक लेना शुरू करें द नेक्स्ट वन इज एड मोर कोकोनट ओके यू वांट टू एड मोर कोकोनट टू योर डाइट लाइक आई सेड कोकोनट ऑयल इज अमेजिंग यू नो स्टार्ट कुकिंग इन कोकोनट ऑयल एंड स्टडीज डेमोस्ट्रेट एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी एंड वेट लॉस बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम मीडियम चेन डोंट वांट टू गो इनटू डिटेल्स बट एमसीटी ऑयल्स एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ बट वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट फैट्स कोकोनट ऑयल एंड कोकोनट बटर कंटेन्स दीस फैबुलस फैट बर्निंग एमसीटीज ओके फाइबर रिच फूड्स नट्स सीड्स पोर्शन कंट्रोल में यूज अपनी बॉडी में इंट्रोड्यूस करना शुरू करें अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द नेक्स्ट वन वॉन्ट टू मैं एड फॉर मेंटेड फूड्स सावर क्रॉट कीम ची इन फैक्ट वॉन्ट टू मैंशन इन फैक्ट आई थिंक आई मैर टॉक दिस अबाउट मेनी ईयर्स बैक बट जितना भी ये डोसा हम लोग अफकोर्स खाते हैं दर इज द रीजन लॉट ऑफ यू नो पीपल कमिंग साउथ इन पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया मेक श्योर इट्स फॉर मेंटेड do not use those fruit salt and the quick rice uh, idli batter and dosa batter because like i said ferment there was a reason these things were invented that way because fermentation or fermented foods are very good for you so make sure you get as much fermentation in your idli and dosa batter as possible because they're amazing for you so don't use those quick rice um, mixes and all that stuff okay and um, miso miso contains good amounts of probiotics to your healthy gut and miso soup if you haven't tried miso soup Uh, get a good um, organic miso paste from a, st- a store and try to make miso soup it's very simple all you add is just the miso paste ka you can add um, any meat you want you can add some tofu if you want you can add some uh, green onions mushrooms whatever but miso soup just a basic miso soup is amazing if you haven't tried it miso it's out of the world amazing so you have to try it so now again to mention now the above recommended jitne bhi aapko bade sare maine points diye hain are not miracle cures they are the actions that lead to normalized gut function and flora to improve diet increased fiber and what not yes you have to make a change in your life so all i can say can rack up with the segment aap ye sare changes bhi karenge but uske sath exercise healthy um uh, lesser stress levels healthy amount of sleep all these things are very out of the world important and ab exercise ke naam se abhi bhi bahut log darte hain ki as if something is going to happen no you have to come in and give it a try at my center we do fantastic exercise programs i mean you come with whatever is in your mind you leave with pretty much nothing in your mind and you feeling amazing about yourself those are the kind of exercise programs that we do we have a lot of um bollywood uh, classes if you like those kind of programs uh, we do a lot of um, you know, biking sessions uh, strength training session a lot of abs session because that's a promise for a lot of desi people but i definitely make sure that all the exercise programs are fun ki they should never feel like an exercise program they should not feel so that's one of the thing i can proudly say my rashna's wellness center is not a typical gym we're not a gym that you're just going to go and exercise and come back and feel oh, i have to go exercise again no you will feel like it's a party I'm going to go back again the next day because you've made friends. We talk, we do everything possible, but we did not stop to exercise, and I'm very proud to say that. And I do it with you. That's the whole point. I will never stop in between because that's the whole point. It pushes, it motivates you. So I'm never going to stop. I will keep an eye on you. I'll push you. I'll motivate you. But I will do it with you. I'll make sure that I do more than you at any point. So up, up, me, up, go, thoda, thoda, push, kare. Not you make you feel bad. भाई अगर आपसे दस हो रहे हैं तो मैं आपके सामने बीस करूंगी और आपको बोलेंगे चलो दो और करते हैं एक साथ दैट्स द होल पॉइंट यू कीप पुशिंग योर स्टेफ लिटिल बाय लिटिल अंटिल यू गेट नाइस एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग विच यू विल वेरी सोन सो अगेन टू रैप अप आर प्रोग्राम और आर शो हेयर फॉर टेरी विद जस्ट गेटिंग टूवर्ड्स एंड ऑफ द शो टू गेव इस कॉल um contact us hamare kitne bhi weight loss programs hain exercise programs and nutritional programs hain unme enroll karne ke liye give me a call 408 320 8111 again 
320-8811. You can also uh, contact me through my website, Rachna Radio, R-A-C-H-N-A, Rachna Radio.com. Or you can always, um, you know, in fact, wanted to mention our Facebook page. Please go connect to our Facebook page. Facebook page, go find Rachna Radio, R-A-C-H-N-A, Rachna Radio, and like our page. And that's another way to stay in touch with us also through our Facebook page. We do have a complete Desi Fitness 30-day challenge. That's a challenge. If you're willing to take up a challenge for 30 days only and lose a lot of weight, be fit, feel fantastic about yourself. It's a complete 30-day challenge that starts on 1st of February to get enrolled. Give me a call, 408-328-111, or contact me through my website, rachnaradio.com. I'll be again here next Tuesday. Till then, keep it and keep working out.